very eye opening. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> it's very easy one if you if you look into energy flow, it's very easy to understand element. Yeah, yeah. Lily was here. <clears throat> I asked Lily to do something more that time when do mandala focus on your vibrations energy on your on your pen. Then whatever you created have vibrations energy. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, whatever that you put on your pen, you have vibrations energy. <clears throat> okay, actually, go for uh, the thing is good, right? So, just wait me a while. Because I have to share this out, so you see, I cannot share this out so bad. <laughs> Let me open my <clears throat> my Facebook first, and uh, go into my page, and then uh, I have to go into my page, <clears throat> and then I have to share it out. Oh no, I cannot do that. So let me allow, yeah. I think in learning metaphysics, uh, the word having fun is very important. I'm not sure you guys were uh, in that or not. <clears throat> but having fun is really, really important. Page. Okay. No, I have to share this out. Right? If not, nobody actually know I'm doing Facebook Live. Uh, it seems like my Facebook is only sorry welcome everybody to this uh, health topic so I think my health topic is also a little bit different uh, for Pansu I have a different topic. Um, this is because that uh, health completely different. <clears throat> Did we say too much fun? <laughs> yeah. So most of the time when I talk about health topics or everybody talk about health topic, they will focus more on their what we so call focus more on their uh their organ. Is it correct or not for every one of you? Okay. So then my voice also change, uh, go for Facebook Live. So uh this is me. Most of the time I like that. <clears throat> okay. I have to find I have to find the slides. I, I'm very sorry to you guys because most of the time my Facebook life, I don't really have slides one, yeah. Uh, and I don't really do slide for it. And as you know, most of the time I also just talk. Okay, most of the time I just talk. So hey, say hi to me from in the Facebook. Actually, we are in a Zoom. If I in my Telegram, uh, you actually know, uh, the Zoom link to join in. Okay, so. This is the, the thing about health. Actually, health topic is too heady. Many things need to talk about. Many problems you have. Like, let's just say just now we are in the in a Zoom. We are talking about one of the uh the rabbit and dragon hum. Okay. Dragon and rabbit hum. Uh the the problem is with that particular interactions is because of the element interactions in between. So the dragon and interact with the rabbit. And of course, um, we always need to see whether that is a peak energy of or is is not a peak energy. Okay. So peak energy is always represented by the cardinal animal sign. 
okay? And then you have a growth of energy, and then you will have the graveyard. So if you if you learn about the interactions of animal sign, normally it's very easy. They just tell you that, okay, this clash this, indicate this kind of clashes. But what is the details of it? What did somebody do that caused the clashes? What did the person do or make to really manifest the health? Yeah. So according to the, the things that you learned from the past few weeks, I always tell you, right, it's about your opportunities. It's about what is that you're actually doing most of the time? What is it that you're actually having? And because of that opportunity, you will do more about that. That cause a lot of problem. Most of the time it's like that. So if you have like strong water element, you might eat something or you might do something or your bad habit that unconsciously cause the organ have problem. Okay? Unconsciously. Eh? It's not that your organ was made to fail. Yeah? It's, it's not about that. It's about the things that you do that make your organ to malfunction or to fail. Of course, when you learn about the traditional method, they tell you that this and this will cause this problem to come up. It's a complete labeling that they put in. But if you learn about the element itself, basically you like to do something with it. Now, how many of you actually know uh, or learn about health topic? How many of you guys that learn about health topic? How many? Number one, I think I've also learned about health topic. Yeah? How do you actually do with the health topics? Surely there is a lot of combinations and interactions that are uh, that was provided to tell you that okay, you know, um horse and also the red clash most likely related to uh health issue, heart attack, high blood pressure. Okay, most of the time it's like that. Yeah. But if you really deep dive into the meaning behind of the element, right? Then you'll realize that having a horse is a peak of energy. So, if you have a horse in your chart, right? In some sense, in that part, Is it okay right now? <clears throat> Sometimes it's, it's bad. Huh? Okay. So if you are a dragon, dragon is a great animal sign. So what did you do to make your health having issue? Great decades, you believe that it's a and most of the time you are hardly change you um, uh, the script that you cannot share yeah tin hey what tin gay but horse it lower is it like that I think it's like that and you that kind of be if that if that most of the time you are acting like that. So if you have the horse and the
Okay. Okay. Sometimes I. Indications. I think it's a good sound. Sometimes you like something. <laughs> Very big secret, yeah? Am I still on the live stream? <clears throat> you guys can hear me, right? I have to spotlight myself. <clears throat> okay. Pretty much it's a two big secret. I think something just snapped in my house. <laughs> okay. So now, <clears throat> let's continue. So, most of the time it's because of our habit that caused the issue, okay? So, when you're doing a lot of things, because in health, um, in health indicates that you can do a lot of different things, that your bad behavior, that caused your body to really function in a way that it, it did, okay? Of course, if you are emotional, mental health, it has different way of looking into it. If you are related to your physical health, <clears throat> you also have to separate the way to look into your chart. So most of the time, our chart um, doesn't really reflect the actual cause of problem. That's not. Which make the part of chart very hard to read for health issue. Okay? So when you read a health, most of the time, you have to ask the person, you say that you might have this issue. Did you align with that particular element or not? What do you do with that alignment? Yeah, most of the time it's like that. Yeah? It's pretty weird, but most of the time it's like that. Okay, the problem comes <clears throat> in that way. Okay, the problem comes in that way. So are you aligned with it or not? Okay, there's two voice. Wait, yeah. Maybe rap. Okay. Earlier comments. Many secret. <clears throat> Brief. <laughs> many, many secret, yeah. Still two voice. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let me put back in here. Too many secrets. And something that you learned. <clears throat> Most of the time it's like that. <laughs> okay. Is this you two voice right now? Amy? No. Is it good right now? Okay. So just now, uh, Tony was saying, can you repeat earlier comment? Comment on what? Oh, yeah, I forgot, yeah. The horse, okay, still two voices uh, right now. Hello. How is it two voices? Uh? I also don't understand why is it two voices. Okay. 
So let me, <clears throat> you think it's okay? Everybody is okay? Okay, Olivia say you think it's okay. okay. <clears throat> I just go on. Uh. So it, it means that people who need to listen can listen. People who don't need to listen cannot listen. Uh, I'm not sharing the Facebook right now. <laughs> Slide echo. Okay. Let me put nearer and I talk slower so that everybody can listen well <laughs> about this. <laughs> yeah. So... Uh, okay, I think now just how uh, Tony was talking about the red and horse. Most of the time it's because in that terms, because in, in health reading, you have to look into a lot of your bad habits. Your bad habits. You are not willing to exercise. Um, they also come in certain point that you are not believing yourself. Yeah, you are not believing in yourself. Um, to really look into health, there's also one category. So there's many categories to look into. Yeah? If you look into that, um, which is why in health topic, you have to know what is the problem with the person first. You cannot diagnose the issue of that person directly. This is what I'm going to say to you. You cannot diagnose the problem directly. You must diagnose is what is the thing that he always do? The problem, of course, most of the time, uh, this is related to the actions. Of course, most of the time are related to uh, the chart itself because the chart will tell you what actions you like to do. Like dragon, you say dragon and also the rabbit, right? Okay, something with the yid wood is countering the wu earth. So what is the damage in here? What is actually the damage is actually causing? So this is related to what your, uh, I like to use the winds. Is it uh, the winds? Winds, wind, winds, winds. Okay. <laughs> and then I also like to use your, uh, I think most of your nervous system are related to here. Okay. And then your earth is related to your flesh, your bone. Okay, so earth element will also have another indications of stomach. Earth element also another indications for spleen. Okay, the most damaged one is actually your not your flesh, it's your spleen. Earth element. Okay, of course, in dragon, inside of dragon, have other related uh, stem, but most of the time it's this two main one. Two main one. Yeah. So it's about the person actions that did something related to Yi that caused a problem to the spin. Because if you, in your interactions, the one that is damaging, right? The interaction is so important. Animal interaction is so important that you are damaging that particular organ. Why is it only talk about the animal sign? Because animal sign is actually later heaven. Later heaven indicates this is related to the organ itself more than the stem. Most of the time it's related to the organ itself is the animal sign clashes or harm. So when you have a health issue, it's always related to the actions that you take, the bad behavior that you have. So anything that you did with this, example, uh, wood element also related to yoga, you know, anything with stretching out because wood is highly related to your spine and also related to uh, the path for the blood to flow. So this will, this will explain many things to you. Yeah? That's why health topic is very deep. Okay, health topic is very deep. So what did you do to cause this problem of organ? This is just a topic for organ. So you will have mental health, right? And then you will also have something what we call accident that come from externally.
So accident also related to what you did, you know. What is it that you do with it? Yeah, highly related to what you do, yeah. Um, no, mental health is not just about fire. Mental health is related to all other things. You can get too angry is also a mental health issues. You can distrust yourself, which is related to mental element. You're not talking with enough with yourself. Your mental will have issues. And then you will have, uh, if you have, um, because then you have water. Water is emotional issues. All this can create mental health on you. So what did you do? What do you accept? So if you look into health, the health topic is too big. But what is the cause of the problem? Now that one is easy to understand. Because you, are, you guys are just, you know, when you look into mental health, we are trying to prevent only. Is it we are trying to prevent only? We are not trying to really understand what problem that I will have. We just want to have an actions to prevent the health issues to come up. Most of the time it's like that. So for your health, highly related to the opportunity of actions that on your daily routine you are doing. <laughs> Example, if you are high with metal element, most likely you have very less sleep. If you are high with fire element, most of the time you cannot sleep. So it's a bad habit that you are not trying to change. You understand what I'm saying? Number one, you will understand what I'm saying. Why is it matter don't want to sleep? Matter element is those that keep on executing. Always need to move. You just talk about the sleep habit. Yeah? If you have too many of earth element, you're always sleeping. Okay? This is an action that you always do. Yeah? Which is why it's not good. This is a bad habit that you actually have. So all of this, um, what I'm going to say is, in part of reading, yeah, in part of reading, we are, we are not like doctors. We are really not like doctors. But whatever on the scientific research, okay, if you're really into health, yeah, whatever in scientific research are highly related to your behavior in your part chart. So what caused your health <clears throat> is your bad behavior. How you want to experience your body. Most of the time is what you want to do with your body. And because of bad behavior, it causes issue. And I like to always say this. Yeah? Um, <clears throat> we always have certain case studies, not, not case studies, certain friend among us yeah, that he is very healthy. But in some sort, of life, he get a very critical illness. Correct or not? Like let's just say he is always uh, somebody your friend is always exercising. Then some in one day, and then he listened that oh he got this cancer and something like that. Then he passed away in a very fast way. What happened? Okay, I'm not telling you not to exercise, yeah. <laughs> but in some sense, if you have too many metal elements you like to exercise. Okay? So the more that you exercise, the more metal element you have. What will that cause? What will that actually cause? So your actions and your behavior, your daily routine, contribute the most to what happened to your body. And what contribute to that behavior? Okay. Okay, Amy. Goodbye. See you again. Yeah. <clears throat> what contribute to your behavior? What actually contributed? Your butter chart make you become like that. Yeah. Unconsciously, you become that. And the more that you do something that damaging your body, the higher chances you will become. The more clashes in your chart the more harm in your chart, most of the time, 
you will also force your body to become better. Force your body to become something. Most of the time, yeah? <clears throat> yeah? So Tony was saying that lack of matter must exercise more, correct? Uh, depends on your chart. Depends on your chart. Really depends on your chart. So when you talk about health, then it's about what you need to do with your body itself that doesn't contribute to the problem that your body will have. Okay? So the balance is very... Uh, the balance is very important in a chart. Yeah, balance is very important, but most of us, we are not. Like me. I think if you guys will follow me, you guys will actually know that I'm like 24 hours working. Because my metal element is very hard. Even my skin is dark. Can never turn white one. Yeah? That's a weird thing. So if you have high metal element, your skin also become dark in some point. And it's very hard for you to turn it around. Okay, once that you go out, right, you just, you know, get some sunlight, you will straight away become dark. Yeah? So, <clears throat> is your behavior, and in some sort of way, your metal element, you also like to go under the sun. It's very weird. If you learn parts like this, you will find it very weird. Your, your behavior <laughs> determine your actions. Your actions determine what problem you have in your chart. Straight away, like that. So health topic is like very interesting. That okay, oh, I can really see this is the problem. But what caused this problem? Your behavior caused it. Okay, your true behavior caused it. So most of the time, when I read health, I will always ask the person do something. I will always ask the person do something. If it's your mental health, then you might need to change the way that you see things and stuff based on the five element. Okay, if you are talking about physical health, <clears throat> yeah, uh, then it's about what is your behavior right now? What you need to do to your body? Bring what vibrations energy to your body? Okay, bring what kind of vibrations energy to your body? Because your actions is the most important. Your behavior is most important. If it's related to the chart having clashes, yeah, that's mean high chances to have accident. High chances have something collapse. The red and also the uh the red and also the horse clash, right? This is also indicates an accident, but most of the time it's heart attack, something internally break down, malfunction. How to prevent that? How to prevent that? <clears throat> so, in between, you must believe that everything has a growth. So, growth indicate wood element so you mitigate the fire you know water produced to fire so even that you're sometimes very emotional very angry if in between you know that you should learn certain lesson for you know red and horse clash right you, you know that this is all a lesson for you you need to uh, do something with it it's about growth i cannot rush these things Okay, it's, it's not about me who wanted to, you know, uh, do something in this fast way. I have to have a slower path because wood element also is slow growth. It's not like a rough growth. You cannot suddenly turn something. So mitigations was that. This is a way to understand your chart. So for accident, you have to tell the person that, you know, you have to really, uh, what happened between your friends or what happened between your parents with you in the middle is about growth or connections with both of you guys. And you have to embrace that growth. This is the way that your family are related. If not, you will always get emotional and angry. So in between that emotional and angry, you will do something around. Okay? Because fire and water clash, horse and red clash, is like an eruptions. The steam come out and everything boiling. Okay, so you would do something. You are very angry, you go and punch the wall. You cannot control yourself, right? Or you will go to do something very dangerous. Because at that moment of time, you feel like you want to release everything out. When you explode. So that is where the accident happened. That is where the snap happened. 
So if you realize, it's also cause a lot of pressure to your heart and also your blood flow. Okay, to your heart and your blood flow. So when you're angry, right, your heart will be pumping. Imagine that you always, in this situation, always get angry, always want to punch somebody. Yeah, always want to punch something, always want to, you know, release it out, straight away need to release it out. What will happen to your organ and flow? So unconsciously, your body unable to accept the abnormal things that you are doing, one day is snap. Okay? One day is snap, yeah? So if, if you really like interesting, interested in metaphysics, okay, you are really interested in metaphysics, there is one meditation technique that you can do right now, which is really just breathe in, breathe out very fast. You will feel your blood go into your head. And you will feel dizzy straight away. It's a meditation technique. If you're really into metaphysics, yeah? it's a meditation technique that is a fire breathing meditation technique. So you just sit down, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out in a very fast way for 10 seconds. Don't do too much. Huh? You will actually faint in your house. You already feel the rushing is coming. So if you're always angry, because it's, it's a very good way to explain because red and horse is really like that. If you have these two clashes, you become like that. Your behavior is like that. And most of the time, it's because where it landed on. Right? Where it landed on. So the more that you have, uh, of course, your structure, your entire chart of the structures will completely be different, right? Okay. <clears throat> Let me check my comment, comment in the Facebook. Okay, hey, nobody's commenting. So good. So if you always... Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, actually, it come up in the Facebook too. That's good. <clears throat> yeah. So now, this this how the chart read is. So what is the mitigation? Yeah. But let's talk about uh, what is it that you do? Yeah. What is your um? Of course, there's another way to look at this, which is traditional method. Okay, which is traditional method. Um, okay, let me go back into this. <clears throat> so if you know the organ, then you will know that uh, what is this happening with your chart? So too many fire, that means very fast angry. Actually very fast angry and very fast to go down. So this is actually causing your heart to pump. So fire element related to your heart. Okay, it's totally related to your heart, to your emotions, a lot of time. Yeah, angry bird. Yeah, if <clears throat> you, this is also something um, <clears throat> you must have in your chart. I say must have, but sometimes your chart doesn't have that, right? Then how does that actually explain whatever happened? So when you have this, this also represents your happiness, your joyful. If you don't have this in your chart, that means it's very hard for you to find happiness. Very hard, yeah? Or very hard for you to find passion. If you learn about this, it's also related to fulfillment. <clears throat> okay? If you learn about this, about your, uh, your organ itself. So fire related to heart, related to eye, related to your blood. It was never related to the flow. Okay, it will never relate to your flow. So it's also related to um in chiman, <clears throat> it related to inflammations. In chiman related to inflammation. That's why I never changed uh, until now. So good. Uh related to inflammation. So can you see the <clears throat> the, the things with it? Yeah. So when you have too many fire, <clears throat> that's when you like to do something with it that cause a problem with that. Right? Why is it related to inflammation? So health topic is very sophisticated. Fire produced to earth. Earth look like what? Earth look like something bulging. So if you truly want to learn about health, it's about this. If you have a lot of fire, that means your body 
we also have a lot of location that something is blocking. Okay, it will actually indicate that because of whatever you do, right? Sometimes you're just too passionate in something, you forget, and the food that you take, it also causes a lot of uh toxics inside your body. Yeah, <clears throat> so fire related to your heart. Without your heart, your entire body cannot function. So the pumping come from the uh, the heart itself. Yeah. So how you feel joyful, happiness, excitement, angry, your heart make the first move first. Yeah. If you have too many of metal elements, like just now the case, right? You just like to constantly moving, exercising, you know, become more sturdy, become more resilient. Your food, your chart food are there. Your behavior is like that. But your heart needs to pump. This one is constantly moving. This is the excitement that you feel. If you can look into that perspective, yeah? it's an excitement that you feel. But matter element related to antibody. Immune system of your uh, part. Because it's related to that particular organ to filter out what you actually breathe in and breathe out, which is related to the lung itself. So all these interconnected. So if you have too many metal elements, most of the time, um, your nose, when you feel something, you smell something not right, if it's very high, eh, you feel you smell something not right, you will reject. But if your metal element too low, you don't care. Whatever the smell is, you doesn't really care. And that cause your lung have issue. Okay? It's very direct one, yeah? If you truly learn about metaphysics in this way, it's totally direct. Okay? If you have too many earth, this means you like to eat sugar. This is the only one that causes a lot of uh, diabetes, high blood pressure. This one is the one that causes it. But of course, the salty part the you know your your uh, high blood pressure also come from here because of the salty but most of the time is this this is the biggest issue in health so earth element represent your body is also your spleen the one that actually clean uh the blood the filter the blood yeah so this is related to your stomach and stuff like that <clears throat> it consumes related to the spleen right so if your Fire element, the heart pumping the blood, it will actually go into this and you know filter out and create new blood to pump. What if it's that this is too much in the chart? Like I said just now, too many earth elements, something will be blocked in your uh your winds. Something will be blocked because of the earth element was there. Okay, this one and this one, this one also counter this, you know. The wood also counter the earth. So it directly tell you what happening to your body. Yeah, most of the time it was the the wood the path to help you to flush it out. So this is like cholesterol and fat. So in real life scientific, the more sugar that you consume, the more that you have all this you know the fat that you actually consume, the more it become the fat, uh, the blockage, the cholesterol inside your body, inside here. That's mean, if you're lacking of wood element, if you're high, high with earth element, high chances there's a lot of uh, blockage is happening. Okay, and imagine, yeah? imagine that your wood too high and your fire is also very low, but your earth element is too high. That's mean, this is your blood quality. Your pumping is not enough. And then your puff, which is the, the winds, is controlling the blood, okay, or bringing the blood to move. Yeah, it's too strong. It compress. And then when you have earth element that is too high, then it actually causes you the problem of the blockage. Because the cholesterol too high will block the, 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 the blood path. Then lead into stroke. 
So everything in the chart. It's whether that you can see it or you cannot see it. Okay? So this is where the interesting part, the, the functions of them, something very high, something very low, represent your body functions inside that. So when you want to do medications, you need to do something to strengthen one part of them to do the medication so that your body, your five organ, can function on the way that they want to function. Okay? And then this water is rated to flow. Yeah? So the flow rated to the kidney. How much water you have is actually uh, your bladder, not your kidney. Eh? Kidney is uh, the wood element. Uh, your bladder. Okay? But in your health, it's actually related to your how that your body flow actually pass. How good your flow is. Or how good that your blood is actually uh, are going into. This is only related to blood. It never related to flow. So it's a type of blood. Okay. Water then related to the flow. So if you're, if you're too many water, you have a very flush. It's like a very fast, uh, fast moving uh, flow in your body. Okay. A very fast moving flow in your body. This fast, fast moving flow can cause a lot of problem. Yeah. If your wood is not enough to maintain it, to control the flow, not enough to let it to go, then um, most likely you will have all this issue with your 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 wings. Okay, some some place does you know what we call soy zhong. Soy zhong is uh in, in English is what I also don't know. What is the term for that? Anybody know about that? What is the term for soy zhong? I actually don't know. Yeah. Most of the time, if you have too many water, you have that. Uh, I think there's a one another one called uh you know drinking heavy. Uh, the more that you drink, the more heavy you have. Water more, retention. Uh, uh, water retention. Yeah. And then not bloating. Uh do you mean what is Liu I also don't know the words. Uh uric acid. Ah, uric acid. You also have that problem. So the more water you have in your chart, the more of a drinking person you have, you are. Okay. It's a habit. And you cannot run away from it. So the more water, that means your body unable to control the water, it causes issue. Okay, I think nobody explained health like me. Eh? So, uh, but you research it, you try to understand it, it really relates. Completely relate. Okay, now what is the famous uh, clashes that you guys know that cause problem? Which one is the famous one that you guys know about cause problem? We just do a little bit of uh, case studies. Yeah. Thank you, please. Anybody have any ideas? What kind of bad clashes that you know? You guys learn a lot about it, right? What is the most bad that you actually know? This totally tell you what happened to your body. Your organ itself have this kind of, all this kind of issue by its own. Okay. Too much of it, you are overly functioned. This is what the words are all time, yeah. Too little of it, it cannot function. Missing the element, you don't know its function or not functioning. Okay, you totally don't know it function or not functioning. You don't care because it's out of your equations. Okay, Chris was saying water clash fire. That one I already tell you, right? Most likely is related to your blood flow are rushing. When your blood flow is rushing with the blood. Okay, if your blood is too thick because the conditions of your blood, of your body, how they functions, how the organ really function. If you're too many of fire, that means your, your blood is very thick. Thick and it's very hard to move. Okay, so I think some of you guys have this problem. Yeah? And when your water is too much, two of these clashing in your chart, most of the time is pushing the blood. So when your, your blood is thick, right, unconsciously it brings together with the, the earth element. This is where the strokes comes in. This is where the heart attacks comes in. It's also related to you eating something 
that is very salty, related to something that bitter. Bitter actually is like uh, exotic, though exotic type of food that you like. Most, most of the time, exotic food is the one that causes the blood problem. Most of the time, yeah? exotic food is the one that causes the blood problem. So when they're rushing and you're also rushing and you like to take this two type of food that put your body into that flow. So most of the time, they are fighting. Okay, but when you learn TCM, it's a little bit different. Okay. What if metal, gung, and jaw? Well, that's one most likely is clashes. Um, accident when you're exercising. Damage your spine. Most likely is that. If metal and gung is clash, that's why uh, when you have tiger and monkey in your chart, most of the time you have a lot of accident happening in, in your entire life. Most of the time. Most of the time. You just like to break your bones. Most of the time. Okay, or you might have spines injury, and like I say, right, you like to move around, and then the wood you like to play with your body because of your spines and something like that, right? So when you move around, then you will cause an accident. And both of monkey and uh tiger are related to growth animal sign, so everything is something new. You want to try something new, you want to test your body, you want to do something with it, become the clashes. Okay? Lily will say ox and dog is a uh, uh, tumor markers. I think it's not ox and dog. Is it ox and dog? Not ox and dog, yeah. It's ox and um it's ox and the goat. I think it's an ox and goat. Is it ox and goat? Yeah, I think it's ox and goat. So you will realize that ox and goat, both of them. Um, ox belong to water season and it's a GF. Main chi is GF, yeah. Okay, and then you will see the uh the goat is also GF, but gold is a fire element, so it always okay. This means this go right, and then GF, correct or not? Then you have thing fire, okay? Thing fire is this season ending, and then the another one is the other season is growing. Is is it sing metal? I think it's sin, right? Is uh is it sing metal or is the earth is a wood element? I forget about this. Let me double check. I always forget one. <laughs> Most of the time I forget. But when you look into uh, the clashes and stuff, you have to look into that. Okay, I think it's goat and ox. That, that always have issue because um, ox, water element, the, the earth is always contaminated. Okay, your behavior with ox is a little bit different. If you look into that, right, your behavior with ox is a little bit different. And then your behavior with the goat is also a little bit different. So goat um, is a uh, soil and always being add up. So your blood flow always add up something that is not necessary. So earth element clashes um, most of the time. Yeah? Most of the time, earth element clashes are not taking away the earth element. They are adding on to the earth element to go up. So G earth are actually tumors. If you know about Pazi. The more that you add up, G earth is actually tumor. So you have to be very careful. Okay? So, Chris, you have all this, is it? Is it Chris? Yeah. So, let me double check. You know, sometimes, very lazy to check this. Yeah. When you talk about clashes, it's interesting. Okay. Wait, yeah. My phone is very lagging with me. 
<clears throat> I just want to double confirm with the uh, with this uh this element side. <clears throat> okay. So <clears throat> I'm just telling you behavior. <clears throat> okay. Combine doesn't mean good, yeah. When you look into health, it's about your element. Is it too much or is it too low? So combined doesn't always mean good. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. So when you look into uh, gold, the bottom part is GF. That's when you're getting bigger and bigger, Jimmy. You're getting bigger and bigger size. Yeah? So you have to be really look into your Wu Earth. <clears throat> yeah. So this is GG. Then you will have Yit Wood. Yit wood, and then you have a thing fire. So originally, they already have some interactions by its own, right? So when you look into ox, then you have sin, and then you have gf, and then another one you have gui water. So more of the time, this one ox itself is already a contaminated water, uh, contaminating earth, right? When these two clashes they will actually need to clash okay, uh, each other, right? Actually, they need to clash each other. Correct or not? Yi and Gui was clashing, Ting and Gui. Uh, it, Yi and Sing is clashing, Ting and Gui is clashing. But there's a but. That when all this thing was happening, yeah, in the end, Sing metal is dying. In this chart. In the end, sing matter is dying in this chart. Yeah, because thing fire is too strong. Yeah, and then this gui is actually supported the yi. This is a water season. This is a fire season. Why things survive? Then you will know that if this is the cycle, thing fire become going up. That means you will add up more. So your GF is always going up with some water that is going to make it become contaminated. So this is a way that you look into a chart to tell you what kind of health problem you have. Directly tell you that this is something that you need to be very careful. Anything with earth, you need to be very careful. Now, most of the time what you would do you have this kind of chart. <clears throat> Earth element too high. What will you do? You will take more sugar. And this sugar will add to this Earth element. Unconsciously, it becomes more worse and worse. <clears throat> okay? More worse and worse, yeah? So this is why that it tells you that in certain chart, right? Of course, actual clashes, both of this is gone. It's also need to depend on the season that the person is born. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. The season come and go, right? Some of the season make them survive. That is a season that have a problem. You cannot predict one chart where that the things can come up. It depends on the person's actions and the season that come in support that actions to become more crazy. Yeah. yeah? So if you have this kind of chart, most of the time you have to be very careful with your sugar intake. Most of the time. <clears throat> okay. How to mitigate this? What is it that in between that can combine them away? Okay. And also take away the GF. What is it? So strong, strong wood element, is it recommendable or not? Yeah. So the goal. Okay, this one then talk about mitigations. The gold combined with horse, right? For six combo. Gold also combined with rabbit and also combined with the uh the, the pig. All right, now ox then combined with uh this combined with rat. Combined with rat become more worse, yeah. <clears throat> so never use this. Never, never use this. If you combine with red, it becomes more worse. 
Ox and red combined is not really a good combination. It's making the water, making the mud, the, the soil become even muddier. It's easier to become even more contaminated in some sort. So you can never use red. Then you have three combo with uh, the rooster and also the snake. So does this help with the goat situations of the GF or not? Which one help? Actually, this one is the one that helped the most, the rabbit. And you have this inside the chart, which is the yeet wood. Okay, so what does actually yeet wood mean? For you, if you want, if you have this kind of chart, what kind of meat medical uh, attentions that you need? <clears throat> you know, you need to have proper yoga meditation, uh, yoga kind of uh, uh, exercise. Anything with your spines, anything that strengthens your wings is actually a good thing for you. Simple as that. If you want to look into medical treatment, then TCM is the, the greatest thing because wood element also related to meridian. Does it sound familiar? Hmm. Did cancer patients always go for the tumors one always go for uh, acupuncture, the for meridian swing? Does it sound, sound familiar to you guys? Something already happening, yeah? <clears throat> they're already doing it. The treatment that they've done, they're actually related to, of course, acupuncture is not a uh, wood element. TCM is. Okay, TCM is a wood element. Yeah, holistic approach. <clears throat> yeah, so this is, which is why um, when you go for um, treatment, get wood rated all to this. So what you need to do in your house? Not always need to go treatment, right? What is it a daily things that you should be doing in your house? So a yoga exercise is actually quite good for you. Okay, a yoga exercise is actually quite good for you. This is how you approach. All right, now. this is how you approach your chart. How to do mitigation. This is how that you actually approach. Yeah, so if one my combine, can I use it to become bigger masculine instead of fat? Yeah, so to control your um, to control your uh, earth element, <clears throat> but most of the time we don't really like clash. Huh? I can tell you that most of the time we don't really like to use clash in health. We don't really like to use a clash in health. But uh, if your chart requires that, you need to do it. Yeah, so maybe it's a yoga, you know, uh, actions. But then when it's not clashing, then when it's like you're doing activities to add on the wood element so that it can control your chart, rebalance your chart. It's good. Yeah, eat food in moderation is correct. That's when your G earth also need to control. Because if you have too many of earth, you just like the sugar, like the sweet thing. I can tell you directly one, yeah? The sweet thing costs you the fat. And you are very good in absorbing that. Some more if your child have water, the more easier, the, the, the more fat you can become. Because they just bulge. Yeah? They just really bulge. <clears throat> so it depends on how that you actually look into your child. So concept of the health is like this for your child. It's related to your own actions. It was never related to what was given to you. Most of the time, we thought that you know, our one child, my health will have this issue because you keep doing the thing to make it happen. Why you keep on doing things to make it happen? That's the wrong thing to, to do, yeah? Okay? Yeah? So, Mitigations, of course, the wood have a lot of things to consider. I think most of the time is most of the time related to this. Uh, okay. <clears throat> most of the time related to this. Lack of water, detox. Lack of metal, build up your immune system. Lack of earth, that's mean you are not eating enough. 
or not exercising enough. Lack of earth is actually not exercising on of earth. So it depends on your chart. Very easy one, yeah? Okay. Lack of fire, that mean your happiness is not enough. Most of the time, your blood flow is not good. Okay. Your, your blood is not good. So you need to do a lot of, uh, because it's about emotions. You're not feeling good enough so that your blood is not pumping in the, in the right way. Okay. Wood is meridian flow, highly related to your spine. So if you look into the treatment, it's all this. This is the treatment that you actually need to go for. But I would recommend you to strengthen your organ. Recommend to strengthen your organ. That means if you are lacking of one of them, it will represent by an organ. So you strengthen the, the organ itself. Yeah, it's into your spleen, your belly, you know, your lung. Okay, strengthen your organ. Your five internal organs is the most important. Other than that, you can just ignore. Very easy one. In health, is like that. Okay. Mitigation, so right at host. Uh, host, that's me, is your, uh, actually, you strengthen uh, one of these, the liver. Yeah. Most of it is your, your nerve and your veins. Okay. That need to be strengthened so that when you get angry, they still have a location to bypass. Most of the time is red and horse is you angry too. You get angry too fast and you get emotional too fast. That your body, the functions of your organ, follow your emotions that cause the problem. Most of the time is like that. Okay? <clears throat> so this is five ways to look into five elements. When you really look into the stem, that one is like you're trying to look into the perspective of which organ is having problem. Okay? <clears throat> it's related to which organ is having problem. Yeah? Now, I hope you guys enjoy this and have fun with this for this Facebook Live. <clears throat> yeah? And uh, I'm going to say thank you to you. <clears throat> Like no water, I think I also need detox since I don't know. I think if your chart is lacking of water, the first thing to rebalance your chart is to find the, the most less element in your chart and to identify what is the organ. Then only you strengthen it. Most of the time it's like that. So that you can, you know, your organ is balanced, it's okay for you to go on, uh, your daily life and stuff. Yeah? So... If like you're lacking of water, then you need to detox. Most of the time, you have a lot of problem. Why is it using detox? Yeah, why is it using detox? <clears throat> detox means that whatever your metal element immune system, they will actually execute to kill off certain virus and stuff. Correct or not? So your metal element will help you to filter things, but it will left over with the things that is. Uh, what we so call the toxic. The toxic also related to earth element. <clears throat> so your water is there to flush it out. But most of the time, it's because of your uh, immune system. You help you to handle stuff and thing. Of course, uh, your body still function, but the toxic is still around. So your water help you to take it all away out so that you can be better. So the more... <laughs> earth element you are, you want them to function, you also need water. <clears throat> okay? But most of the time, it's looking into your chart. Your five structures. Okay? Look into your five structures and check what is it that you need to do. Yeah? What is it that you need to do? Is it more water? Drink more water. <clears throat> the first way to detox is what? What is the first way to detox? This is to argue, eh? this is to argue with people that are you, you less water, you don't need to drink more, drink more water. This is, to argue, this is to argue this sentence. If you have no water, that means you don't drink water. What happened to your body? Yeah? <clears throat> what happened to your body, which is very bad? Okay. So I went to TCM. Uh, Sensei say my short temples. Cause my liver unhealthy, 
you are short tempered, that means you are very easy angry, you burn the wood, something like that. So eat medicine to clear toxic and strengthen. Now no more short temper feel amazing now. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's a one way to look at it, but <clears throat> your liver is unhealthy, is also um if you really look into it, yeah, but of course. Your um the TCM is helping you to strengthen up your wood element because TCM is all wood, yeah. <clears throat> TCM is all wood. So strengthen your wood element. Uh, it actually can help you to mitigate a lot of issues. So TCM is also like that. If you look into your chart, but of course TCM is is deeper, is way deeper. Because this is what I tell you is the element itself have their own yin and yang. Okay, if you learn uh <clears throat> if you learn deeper parts, it also represents yin and yang. Most of the time you fall into a category that you are not willing to fall into. Because the element you have is it more yin or is it more yang? So TCM go deeper. So they will tell you that something is wrong with you, <clears throat> that you have to ref you know you have to do the opposite of it. Yeah, to help you to clean up. <clears throat> but medicine, whatever that being processed, being filtered by strategically, they really systemize to structure the medicine for you is actually metal element. So the more medicine you take from the Westerner type of treatment, it's all metal. So this is something else for you that I want to tell you. The more that you take from the Western uh, medicine, it is all matter element, which is why <clears throat> when you take too many supplements, you also need to drink a lot of water. Agree or not? Agree or not for you guys? If you, if you take a lot of medicine, you need to drink a lot of water. Yeah? Like just how I was saying, right? If your water child have less water, you need to drink water. So there's a lot of issues. I can tell you there's a lot of issues. Yeah? The first way of detox, the daily routine behavior, is actually drink water. If you don't drink water, what happens to you? Your body will become malfunction. Where does it malfunction? We don't know. Okay, where it will malfunction, we really don't know. Because if you don't drink water, something is not taken out. Okay, then if you have lung, if you have all these things in your body, it will cause a lot of issues. <clears throat> okay, so now, that's it for today. So we go on into the next one. Next week, no Facebook Live. I was, I'm was i traveling. Okay, so next week is... Uh, it will be off. Okay. So, well, thank you to all of you. <clears throat> yeah. So, it's really true. Okay. Two hours solid training. Really. <clears throat> thank you to all of you guys who joined in. And uh, I'm going to see you guys again uh, in the coming weeks. Okay. Goodbye. See you guys. <clears throat>